Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got part two of my Saints full breakdown today. I told you guys on Saturday, if you hit the like button enough, I would put part two out right away. And uh, you guys did, so thank you for, for hooking me up. So I'm going to hook you guys up right back with all the shotgun plays from the Saints playbook all in one video. So link in the description below if you want to catch both parts. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's get right into the video. Next up out of the shotgun split close, we have the Power O. It's a really good outside run. The blocking sets up pretty well. It's got to kind of take it wide. Um, and then you'll typically have a pretty decent carry. Typically, it's just a sprint to the edge. Sometimes you have to cut it up in the middle, but mostly you're just trying to bounce it outside as I get lit up there. But I still get about a 10, 15 yard carry, so that's whatever. Moving on. Next up, out of the shotgun split flex, we have the halfback slip screen. So I'm just going to motion over Olsen. He's going to be. Um, you know, my first read, if he gets open, like right there, they jammed off, so he's going to get open and run up the sideline. That's going to be one of my better plays on this. Cover 3 and Cover 4 is Cover 2 is going to have that problem. Here it looks like a Cover 3 or a Cover 1. So we're going to go ahead and just hit that guy for a nice catch and run up the sideline. To me, it's like a really easy play to steal all game. Um, and then obviously, you know, the, the, the screen plays there, but that's not that great in my opinion. Next up, we got the PA shot. So if I motion this guy across... He should beat man cover one really well, and then I have an underneath route that'll do it as well. So I'm going to take away this pass block, or this uh, play action, and I'm just going to put him on a pass block. And then, like I said, I, mean, I have two routes here that really should get it done against man. As you can see, this is a route that I've used quite a bit. As long as I throw it in the break correctly, or when that uh, when the cornerback flips his hips and uh, looks like he's coming back to the ball, I'll pretty much work that guy every time. Like I said, like you see right there. You know, even, even the, <laughs> the receiver or the cornerback for the other receiver tried to make a play. So you can see that's just a really successful play. So if I want to try to get this A route up the field, just put Artis Payne here on a streak. And uh, hopefully he'll pull the safety over. So I can try to get this home run here. So you can see it's tighter coverage. I mean, I didn't necessarily have the, the right receiver running that. So I'm going to pass block the running back one time. I like to hit the deep route. Uh, which, you know, I should have right here. He can get more separation than that, though. He's actually getting banged around a little bit. So I'm just going to work. Like I said, ultimately, the outside route's the play anyway. So, <laughs> so you can see how good that is. It's instant, too, man. It's instant. Next up, we got the wide receiver corners. So I'm just going to motion this guy out again. I don't have a screen to worry about. Uh, which is nice, um, you know, like like on the other side. I, uh, when I have to run this with a screen, I'm really worrying about blocking. But this play, I don't have to worry about that. So, all, obviously, it's the same setup, though. Olsen, you know, he's making a play. And then, um, you know, I have, I have my, my B route. If he's not making the play, then I have my B route above that, which will typically make a play. But uh, but these, these plays are really all about the tight end getting into the flats really fast. Sit right there. I mean, he's just getting through the coverage, and, and they just don't follow him. So it's just a really easy play. Next up, out of the shotgun split close, we have the power O. It's a really good outside run. The blocking sets up pretty well. It's got to kind of take it wide, um, and then you'll typically have a pretty decent carry. Typically, it's just a sprint to the edge. Sometimes you have to cut it up in the middle, but mostly you're just trying to bounce it outside as I get lit up there. But I still get about a 10, 15 yard carry. So that's whatever. Moving on. Next up, by the shotgun split flex, we have the halfback slip screen. So I'm just going to motion over Olsen. He's going to be, um, you know, my first read. If he gets open, like right there, they jammed off, so he's going to get open and run up the sideline. That's going to be one of my better plays on this. Cover 3 and Cover 4 is Cover 2 is going to have that problem. Here it looks like a Cover 3 or a Cover 1. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna just hit that guy for a nice catch and run up the sideline. To me, it's like a really easy play to steal all game. Um, and then obviously, you know, the, the, the screen plays there, but that's not that great in my opinion. Next up, we got the PA shot. So if I motion this guy across, he should beat man cover one really well. And then I have an underneath route that'll do it as well. So I'm going to take away this pass block or this uh, play action. And I'm just going to put him on a pass block. And then, like I said, I mean, I have two routes here that really should get it done against man as you can see this is a route that i've used quite a bit as long as i throw it in the break correctly 
or when that uh, when the cornerback flips his hips and uh, looks like he's coming back to the ball, I'll pretty much work that guy every time. Like I said, like you see right there, you know, even even the <laughs> the receiver or the cornerback for the other receiver tried to make a play. So you can see that's just a really successful play. So if I want to try to get this A route up the field, just put Artis Payne here on a streak, and uh, hopefully he'll pull the safety over. So I can try to get this home run here. So you can see it's tighter coverage. I mean, I didn't necessarily have the, the right receiver running that. So I'm going to pass block the running back one time. I'd like to hit the deep route. Uh, which, you know, I should have right here. He can get more separation than that, though. He's actually getting banged around a little bit. So I'm just going to work. Like I said, ultimately, the outside route's the play anyway. So... <laughs> So you can see how good that is. It's instant too, man. It's instant. Next up, we got the wide receiver corners. So I'm just going to motion this guy out again. I don't have a screen to worry about, uh, which is nice. Um, you know, like like on the other side, I, uh, when I have to run this with a screen, I'm really worrying about blocking. But this play, I don't have to worry about that. So all, obviously, it's the same setup though. Olsen, you know, he's making a play. And then, um, you know, I have, I have my, my B route. If he's not making the play, then I have my B route above that, which will typically make a play. But uh, but these these plays are really all about the tight end getting out of the flats really fast. I said right there. I mean, he's just getting through the coverage, and, and they just don't follow him. So it's just a really easy play. Next up, we got the mesh. Your RB route really is just to pull uh, coverage back. Although right there, they just let game a free release and a cover three, so it's it's something that you could see. But ultimately, he's just pulling coverage back, and then you're hitting the A and the B if it's a man, like right here. So you know that's pretty much your reads. A and B or A and the uh, B route are pretty much you know the entire play, and then your X routes are check down. You can also block the running back if you you know you don't really need him. Next up out of the gun bunch. Next up out of the gun bunch, we have the spacing switch. So this right here, I, I typically want to either put this uh, X route on a slant so he can be a man beater. I like to motion out the B route um, because you can see, I mean, he'll just, he, he didn't really have the space there that he would have if I motioned him out. So typically, depending, unless it's like a cover two, I'll typically motion him out. If it's a man coverage, he won't really beat it anyway. But you can see motioning him to the side gets him a little bit more space. Still gets lit up by Keanu O'Neill, but you can see he's getting up the sideline a little bit better. But if you leave him in, you're just kind of reading what's he going to do. Like right there. He... So you pretty much have, I mean, your best man beater is going to be the slant. And then you're, 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 oh, you have all these other routes out here. If it's a cover three, especially cover four, he's going to get outside. But it's just a really, you know, you'll steal yards this way easy. You're not going to hit any home runs or anything, but it's a really good play. I like the motion snap them too. You can see right there. I mean, sometimes accuracy is an issue right there. I only got five because of the accuracy. But, you know, and I don't even have to pass block the running back because this gets open so quickly, I don't really have to worry about it. And then right there, anytime it's, they all sit, you know, man sits on the zone. So anytime you have a man coverage and these guys, you know, they'll just start sitting on these routes. That's when the man coverage comes into play, as you can see right here. They're all just sitting down, and you got that big play over the top of man, so... So, left side, man, right side, you got all zones. Uh, this B route will get open under anything but cover two. Looking like it's not a cover two. I had a tight end right there too, but obviously this is my better athlete for a possible catch and run scenario, so I'm going to go there. Next up, we got the verticals. Here I'm going to put X on a drag, motion out this receiver, and that's it. That's all I got to do. The B route will get open underneath coverages a lot of times, really quick and easy. Your drag is going to be the check down. It'll come open in this area after all the after all the um, the zones are vacated. Then you can see if you have a cover one man or cover zero, you're going to have a big play up the sideline to the uh, the wheel route. That's going to be your best man beater as well as the uh, the drag. 
So here we go. I can tell I'm going to have RB. Like I said, there's too much there for, for you know, those two routes are too close together for the, the defender to choose. So whichever defender that the, 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 um, the user defender chooses, you pretty much hit the other one inside. One of those should be open pretty much every time. So like I said, right here, just waiting for him to clear. And then you have a real easy shot over the middle. Next up, we got the Z spot. I'm just going to put the B route on a streak, and then I'm reading A, which is open right away here. Um, if he's open, I'm going to take him. If he's not, the B route will be open over the top of him. Not the B route. I mean the RB route. But either way, like I said, if it's there, you know, like I said, there, he's not, so i got to hold it. It was a bad throw. It's typically going to be a little bit further outside, so I tried. I meant to say the RB route. We're just playing the A versus the RB route. So like I said, right here, it's a blitz. You know, we're just going to take what we can get. And if it's not him, he's going to be the RB route. RB route will be better against man and cover two. Although that's a cover three, but just the way that it, it worked out, you know, with the spacing, it was it was perfect. So made that play. And then obviously the, uh, the check down or the... Uh, except we got the Z spot and go. All I'm going to do is streak the B route. That's it. Now you got your high, low. A, if you see it right away, take it. Uh, you know, that'll be good against cover three, although I got lit up. Cover three, cover four. Your um, your RB route will be a, a man and a cover three beater, or cover two beater and cover three beater. Like right there, that was a cover three, but they, they must have been in hard flats. So it's really just, that's pretty much the play. It's just those two receivers. You split the field in half, the other side doesn't even matter. You can even block the running back if you want to. Next up, we got the Z spot. I'm just going to put the B route on a streak, and then I'm reading A, which is open right away here. Um, if he's open, I'm going to take him. If he's not, the B route will be open over the top of him. Not the B route. I mean the RB route. But either way, like I said, if it's there, you know, like I said, there, he's not, so i got to hold it. It was a bad throw. It's typically going to be a little bit further outside, so I tried. I meant to say the RB route. We're just playing the A versus the RB route. So like I said, right here, it's a blitz. You know, we're just going to take what we can get. And if it's not him, he's going to be the RB route. RB route will be better against man and cover two. Although that's a cover three, but just the way that it, it worked out, you know, with the spacing, it was it was perfect. So made that play. And then obviously the, uh, the check down or the... Uh... Next up, we got the PA read. This play right here, I mean, you have a pretty good setup. Um, you know, if it's a cover two, you can split that with the Y route. Your comeback is your is your man beater. Um, the A route there, it's going to be really good against, you know, most coverages. You can see right there, that was a cover two. It just beats it naturally outside if you just hold it. These, I think that was a cover two. Let's just double check. Wasn't really watching the safeties. Like I said, that route's going to get open, you know, no, nine times out of ten anyway. But yes, it was a cover two. I could have hit over the middle big too. So definitely a good cover to play. And like I said, you don't really need any adjustments. So like I said, right here, I don't know. You know I guess I'll take my check down. This is the B route. It's going to be a late developing check down. And like I said, you have your... Ooh. Like I said, if it's a man coverage, like a lot of times, you know, you can beat deep. Oh, that was just a weird animation. He was beating him, and then I got a stupid animation. So if it's a man coverage, if it's a cover two, the A route, this here. Like I said, my check down, I guess. Oh, man. So if it's a man coverage, cover two, the A route's just beating everything right here. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what that was other than a complete glitch. So that looked like the man coverage I was talking about. So like I said, all you're doing is blocking the running back. That's it. This looks like another man coverage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. What are you doing, EA? What are you doing with these routes, EA? Uber glitchy. Okay, so yeah, like I said, man coverage is getting toasted. Once again, like I said, any man coverage, you know, a little bit more speed would be nice, but I'm, I'm using the Panthers. It is what it is. Next up, by the shotgun double Y flex off week, we have the Saints mesh wheel. So all I'm going to do is motion McCaffrey out here. If it's a cover three, he's going to get open underneath it pretty quick. 
Um, if he doesn't, if it's, a, if it's a man coverage like this, you got your comeback route. I like to make the comeback route a little different, though. I like to make the comeback route like the traditional comeback route. I just think it's better. But, like I said, cover three. If this is, this is the cover three here, which it looks like it is. You know what I'm saying? You got McCaffrey you're stealing McCaffrey outside all game. Obviously, your cover, cover if it's a man coverage, it's going to be that comeback route or the drag. Um, if it's a cover one, though, I mean, you got a little something different. So, here we go. I don't, I don't know what that was. That looked like I was almost a cover two. And if it's a cover two, I mean, you could streak the outside route, but this isn't a cover two, obviously. So. But that's just something to keep in mind. I don't know if it's a man coverage or what, but we got the over, you know, there was just everything outside was taken up. We had the inside route right there. So here we go one more time. Like I said, just so got that underneath route. I mean, there's just it spreads so far. Like the you'll never see middle open that wide because how far this is spread. So like most plays, McCaffrey's a good cover three beater underneath, a good cover one beater down uh, or up top. And then like I said, I mean that's just he just gets outside of my zone. So we'll get above, like I said, we'll get above cover zero, we'll get above cover one, I'll we'll get a be a one plate touchdown. Um, and that's pretty much it. Got to run this one more time. Like I said, I mean, this looks like it might be a cover one. I'm, I'm, yeah, there we go. So here we go. We're just going to bomb that up over the cover one man. Maybe, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that's cover one. I don't think it was a cover two. So you got that for a touchdown. This can also be a cover four one play touchdown if you just block the running back, put the B route on an in route, and then smart route him. The hardest part of this is going to be going to be buying time uh, but and making the right throw. I mean, you just have to... You have to wait till he gets inside of the defender. That was actually a little bit closer than I expected. Hogan's not the right player to run that. Should really have a speed guy out there, but go ahead and run it one more time. He like said in route, smart route, the B route. So he's got to buy time. That's all you got to do, and then get, get the, <laughs> the the throwing the throw timing is important. But he'll get bodied that dude. <laughs> but like I said, a faster dude would make way more sense. This play absolutely destroys cover two. Um, the only adjustment that I would make is, I mean, the, the Y route really doesn't do anything, so I would just put him on a slant, I guess. Uh, but yeah, essentially, I mean, you're just going to get outside the cover two. I mean, just streaking up the sideline. You know what I mean? <laughs> the cornerback doesn't really hang on. So, I mean, the Y route, like I said, you could double drag him or something. The Y route really doesn't do much. Um, it's all a cover two play anyway where you're trying to get outside here. I would say, I mean, even putting the Y route on a streak just to pull that safety back um, would make the most sense. I mean, it's just, you know, like I said, it's just, it's all about this outside route anyway. So this is essentially like a four verticals route to an extent, but spread so wide to the line of scrimmage that this just beats every time. And that's Chris Hogan. If I had a real guy out there, who knows how big a play this would be. If I flip this and ran to Samuel's side, say, you know, he's a, he's a speed demon. So I guess he's not the route runner, though. <laughs> but it still works, so it's whatever. Next up, we got the clear outs. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, X on a slant and, uh, you know, put the, uh, put the B on a comeback. And we got a really good good play here. I mean, the A route is a good cover two play. You can see he just goes right up the middle there. Even if that's a cover two with the with the mid um, with the mid read, it's still going to be a really good play. We got a cover three here, possibly. So I, I don't really have nothing to do with the R with the R <laughs> with the RV route. Uh, but like I said, I mean, they're going to send the house. I obviously got that right there. So that's that's no problem. I'm going to send the house like that. Let's go. Let's do this a few more times. Like I said, they're just spread so thin. That A route's really just beating up the middle a lot of times, even though he's fumbling. But um, you know, I'm waiting on that. I also have, like I said, that the, the this this is my a good check down, especially against man coming right underneath all that. Let's go. Let's do this again. Like I said, the A route there is just so just spread so wide. Cause he fumbles again. Like I don't know what's going on there. But he's, uh, you know, it's just such a, a widespread formation. Here's a cover three. He's gonna catch it right in front of the cover three. I don't know if they're sending blitzes or what, but it's just such a quick play. Next up, we got the fork. Set, 
This player here, I'm gonna do is put the X route on a slam, put the A route on a streak, and uh, you know, the, I'd say my first read is probably the RB route. As you can see, he's gonna get outside of most things, especially man. But pretty much everything gets open here. I mean, that's kind of how this play works. Said RB, he's gonna get up, gonna get past that guy again. You know what I'm saying? He's he's one of the money. He's not even a good receiver. He's my worst receiver. But he's still gonna beat that. Good check down is the the X is about to send a double safety blitz. He'll come open underneath that. And I might house that if, <laughs> if I get a little bit more speed there. But obviously those blitzes aren't very aren't very well thought out. <laughs> so RB route once again, like I said, pretty much always gonna get open. Always gonna get open underneath that receiver. And you could leave the A, I mean the A route's pretty good if you need if you just need a few yards. But you can leave him open underneath rather than the streak, but the streak can be a big play too. I haven't hit the Y route yet. The Y route's actually really good. Like I said, we'll see it right here. I don't know what that coverage was. Maybe it's laid out on top of it, but you'll see. He'll be open quite a bit. So pretty much every every play, um, every route on here is going to get open. You can see right there. It's, a co it's probably a cover three. Typically, it's go open under cover threes like that. So let's go ahead and let's move on. Next up, we got the goes whip. So you can run just like this, or you can slant the Y route um, just to create some dual crossing threats. I mean, this is if the man coverage like that. You know, the user is going to have to pick one of the two. You just throw it to the other. Let's go ahead and let's do this a few more times. I mean, you know, just some good routes here. Uh, but the crossing routes are really what makes the play, you know, good is because they're going such in an opposite direction. You can't use it them both. You can leave it as is, too. I mean, the high-low route's fine. Um, but it's really all about these, you know, crossing routes, like I said, at the end of the day. Nothing really too major. The RB route can be cover three. Um, I just haven't really seen one yet. I said right there, that was a cover three. A unique one, but it beat it up the center there. <coughs> and if you leave it alone, the, uh, you know, the, the, this can really do a good job, too. The, um, if you get a, uh, it's probably a cover two, as you can see, the, the cornerback drop. But you can also hit that for cover two. The, uh, the, 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 the the zig route here is really good against cover one man. And if you think it's going to be man, you could always put the uh, put the X route on a comeback pre-snap because there isn't a ton of man beaters here. So you get another cover three, I'm guessing. That was probably cover three. But I can definitely see the spacing coming, so I have to watch a replay, though. I'm not sure if that was a cover three or not. There, there's some the, the computer will throw some unique coverages out there. Yeah, it's definitely some, some variation of cover three, uh, as you can see. So really good play. Next up, we got the Saints under. So the comeback route obviously will be man. I like to slant the Y route once again. You got your cover three beater, which is the RB route. Um, that'll that'll get in past the cover three seam. Obviously the comeback is going to be uh, man coverage. But let's go ahead and let's just like I said, we got the crossing routes. That's going to be you know good against man. Um, you know good against the user because you have a crossing route over the top of that. A lot of times I have to pick one of the two and you won't be able to you know like I said, there's the cover three. That was obviously a blitz. <laughs> Cover three blitz, that was a mistake. As you can see, Hogan's going to take that deep. So, just, you know, a lot of these plays are very similar. Next up, we got the deep in. This is a cover four beater. So, I'm just going to motion out more to the sideline here. And now I got a cover four one play touchdown. I got my check and release options here. So, if I want, I always have that as a check down. But this is the, uh, that's the touchdown route right there. So, if I got a cover four, I'm throwing it up top. But these check and releases are pretty cool because I tell them when to release. So if I think that the A route's got a little bit better opportunity, he has no coverage around him, I could I could send him out. If I think the Y route has it, I can send him out. So it's pretty cool that I get to choose where I think you know the coverage is not. So that's uh, it's pretty neat as I mess the whole play up. <laughs> it's pretty neat that I have the ability to check and release two different routes. Like who do I think is going to get a who has a better opportunity, who has less coverage around them, and stuff like that, or. Who I think can make more plays and, and make that decision. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool wrinkle. But ultimately, this is a uh, cover three and a cover four play. Next up, we got the flood wheel. It's a good man beater play. I'm gonna go ahead and motion on McCaffrey because he's gonna do more than beat that. I'm also gonna streak the A route if I have my my opportunity to do that. But uh, underneath cover three, McCaffrey's gonna be really good. Um, as he made a, a juke back to the line of scrimmage, that wasn't good. But um, but yeah, that's an option. Um, and then you can also, I mean, putting putting A on a uh, flat route is really good as well. As you can see right here, if it's a zone, he'll just get it open underneath that. I don't need to check and release. I just want him to get out on that route right away. 
But ultimately, you want to flip the field in half. I'm sorry, split the field in half, not flip the field. Um, because, you you know, just make your pre-snap read, like, uh, what's going to be where. Um, and then, like I said, if it's a, if it's a man covers McCaffrey here up the up the sideline, there's going to be a really big play, obviously. Like I said, he'll be, uh, he'll be it under cover three, and he'll get deep on any, uh, any man coverage. Even man two, he'll have... Um, We'll have some op some space. We'll have some opportunity. Like I said the RB route is a really good route too. I mean, I'm, I'm looking over there. That's a really good route, especially against Man. But that was a zone as it really came underneath on the flat route. So I'll run one more time. Like I said, we got McCaffrey's a good man and a good man over the top and a good cover three underneath. As we can see right here, he's turning up field again. Uh, hopefully, we can get a touchdown this time. Yes, sir, we do. So like I said, really big play against any any man coverage right there. And if I need an extra blocker, I can always put Olsen uh, on a uh, on a block. I can always block him if I need a little bit extra time. Can't block anybody else. I mean, Hogan Hogan doesn't have that ability. Uh, I can't even block McCaffrey. I mean, I mean, I can, but he's the play. So <laughs> how's that gonna work out? You know what I mean? So just block Olsen. Now you have six blockers. Hopefully you can buy some time with your legs. And then make a big play. We like said we got another man. So. I just bomb it up there again. Let him get a nice big catch and run. Next up, we got the stick in nod. This receiver here, put him on a smart route. And then I'm just going to streak the RB route. Pass block the A route so I can get a little bit more time because this is ultimately a home run play. The Y route is the check down, but it's really all about this dude right here. So if they're running cover ones or cover zeros, that's your, probably your best bet right there. Next up, we got the four verticals. Just, uh, just put the Y. I mean, to me, just put the Y route on. on you can leave it as is. The drag's okay, but I like putting the Y on a slant. It's a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but like I said, ultimately, you're crossing those routes for the user. And then, if you have a cover three, this guy's really good outside. You could also put the um, the X route on a comeback. In this case, it's a man coverage. Although the slant's going to do okay against man coverage. Ultimately, um, you know, the comeback's going to be better. If you catch a man coverage ready, 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 ready. but um there i forgot to do it and you can see like it's like i said the slant's still really good comes open underneath all the coverages but those are really your three options i should say four options cover i mean the, the, the running backs uh, the rb's only for cover three but you have you know three options aside from this and every other coverage so comeback route the x for man Slant or drag for man and uh, a you know a and a and the y route you know they're they're both meant to uh, split the user and then I get a bad throw <laughs> but then the and the rb route so come back the x slant the y those are both good man beaters and then Olsen Olsen versus y against the cover against the user and then rb for cover three. Next up, we got the four verticals. Just, uh, just put the Y. I mean, to me, just put the Y route on. on you can leave it as is. The drag's okay, but I like putting the Y on a slant. It's a little bit more aggressive. Um, like I said, ultimately, you're crossing those routes for the user. And then, if you have a cover three, this guy's really good outside. You could also put the um, the X route on a comeback. In this case, it's a man coverage. Although the slant's going to do okay against man coverage. Ultimately, um, you know, the comeback's going to be better. If you catch a man coverage. But um, there I forgot to do it. And you can see, like, it's, like I said, the slant's still really good. Comes open underneath all the coverages. But those are really your three options. I should say four options. Cover, I mean, the, the, the running backs, uh, the RBs only for cover three. But you have, you know, three options aside from this and every other coverage. So, comeback route the X for man. Slant or drag for man and uh, a you know a and a and the y route you know they're they're both meant to uh, split the user and then I get a bad throw <laughs> but then the, and the rb so come back the x slant the y those are both good man beaters and then Olsen Olsen versus y against the cover against the user and then rb for cover three next up out of the shotgun empty base we have the jet sweep. It's a good play. I mean, you know, you just, it's just, this jet type of jet sweep been in the game a little while. At least I think it has. They might have added it 
knows in the, you know, they've had the past plays that look like this out of this particular playbook, but they didn't, I don't remember having a jet sweep out of it. But still, either way, it's a good variation, um, obviously, to mix in, uh, depending on what type of defense you're looking at. You can see I'm getting some heavier looking sets, which I wasn't you know, necessarily planning on. But it's, you know, you got your running back run to play, too, so you have a good running back. You don't take much of a loss here. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't, if you don't make it up the field, it's not going to be much of a loss, like a yard or two tops. So very, very uh, low risk play compared to some, um, you know, reverses and whatnot. But like I say, you can see you can get a big play too. <laughs> Yo, I couldn't make that dude miss. I'd have been gone. There was nothing else there but green grass. Next up out of the shotgun stack Y flex, we got the drive H wheel. This play right here, all I'm going to do is put the uh, X route and streak and motion the running back out. Running back will get open under cover threes and uh, cover fours. Uh, man blitzes like that, although I threw it too early because of, of the blitz, I guess. But you can see he's going to be wide open against a lot of different things. He'll also turn up the field for a big man one uh, play. And you can see right there, the pass kind of led me out of bounds, but you know I still I'll take the I'll take the five yards. I'll take that all game. So that's going to be one side of the play um, that I'm trying to wait to turn up into a big side of the play. <laughs> Like I said, I mean, this thing's just really crossing over this defense. This defense doesn't know what to do with that running back route. But ultimately, streaking the X route on the other side, I find, is going to be a much bigger play or a much better play. I don't know. They're both pretty good. But you can see how that, that route just gets outside. And then he caught it with his back. <laughs> but you can see he gets outside. It's really the only thing that matters, whether it's cover three, cover four, cover two, you name it. They said that dude's just, he's just beating outside. This is how this route works. This is how this play works, really. Very few coverages will cover that. Let's go ahead let's do this one more time. I said, I don't really know which one I like better, but I know this one's quicker. They're both fast, but I'll just take, I'll take whatever I see first. It's just those two routes. And then you got a bunch of check downs over the middle, which you really won't need because essentially this route's so money it is its own check down. Said the way those guys are so crossed up, so close together, a lot of times they'll they'll bump each other off coming out of the break, and then the receiver will be open. Next up, we got the Y sail. Just another route to try to get the running back open. That's really all I really care about right here. I'm just trying to get it to my running back. The zig route's a good man beater, and so is the uh, the route what that Olsen's running. It's a good man beater route. Um, as you can see, it also gets open in zone there. I want to move the ball back to the center. Let's go ahead and move that back so I can get a little bit on both sides. Get motion out the running back again, and he'll get to the sideline quicker. So right there, I mean, that was a man coverage, I think. So you can see how that just gives him that huge advantage, a huge head start. Pretty much just like the other play, you're going RB and you're going Y. One of those guys should be open pretty much every time. It's essentially just a flat beater play, and uh, that's it. With your A route being your best route over the top. Uh, and your latest developing route would be your X route coming over the middle. Once the user's left the middle of the field, a lot of times, you know, he's open. Like right there, he's even double covered and he was still open. So, you know, good late developing route. Next up, we got the bench. This is a good play for cover two, all out blitzes, man. Um, you know, just about any coverage, really. I mean, these outside routes, a lot of times, can get outside of cover fours and three. No real adjustments needed. I mean, this these underneath routes get open under cover two, under cover three really well as well. They beat man also. I mean, it's just this play is just really really money this year. And like I said, there's a man coverage. Like I said, they're send, sending zero blitzes. I'll pull this play out and I'll pretty much hit a home run just about every time. The only thing that can really prevent this play from having success is if they don't get a free release. A lot of times that can mess up uh, mess up the route and then they don't get that they don't get that edge the way that they are here. So. Next up, out of shotgun tight, we got the buck seams. This play right here, if it's a cover three, motion this guy out, and I find it gets open under the coverage quite a bit. Even if it's not cover three, I find like it's going to be a big play. And then this guy over here, I mean, I don't even know what coverage that was, but he just beat it outside. So I don't know what that was. So like I said, we can just do that all game, really. Like I said, one more time, we got that Y route. He's just way outside. I mean, the throw was bad, but he's just getting outside no matter what. There we go. The cover three. It should be interesting. Should be pretty much the same result. Like I said, that wire out. I said he's he's beating outside. He got a little beat. He got a little bumped up a little bit out there though. 
regardless of the coverage. So here we go, cover three. Like I said, I'm pushing this guy out, try to get that wire out going. Although it might not be a cover three, it might be a man. So here we go, we're gonna go the other way with a really easy touchdown because like I said, that's gonna beat man up the field as well. So I'm gonna motion that guy out again. Like I said, it looks like we got that B route over there. I think that was a cover too. So you don't even have to motion him over. I'm gonna go ahead and check the replay on that. I said, yeah, that's definitely, definitely a cover too. That's why I sat on it. So like I said, you don't really have to worry about who you motion. Pretty much doesn't change the results. So like I said, right side, right here, it gets behind it again. This play is a total glitch. So go ahead and do that again. That's pretty obvious if it's cover two, where we're going. There, that was a cover three, and it just, it just got passed. I mean, it's just, if it's man coverage, you really want to move to this side out. Because the Y route's going to beat the man coverage better, or best. Like you see right there, I mean, he's beating that man coverage. He didn't catch it. <laughs> he didn't catch it for some reason, but if it's man, that's who you want. If it's cover two, you want to motion out the B route. And I don't think it ultimately matters, to be honest with you. Like I say, he's going to get past that. Guys aren't catching the damn ball for some reason, but they're getting past. All speed, no hands. So, so like I said, here we go once again. Cover two. Like I say, he's going to beat that outside. Caught it that time. Nice acrobatic catch. You can go up the sideline with that too against cover two. And even the A route inside has a shot. Next up, out of the shotgun tight, we got the buck seams. Let's play right here. If it's a cover three, motion this guy out, and I find it gets open under the coverage quite a bit. Even if it's not cover three, I find like it's going to be a big play. And then this guy over here, I mean, I don't even know what coverage that was, but he just beat it outside. So I don't know what that was. So, like I said, we can just do that all game, really. Like I said, one more time, I got that Y route. He's just way outside. I mean, the throw was bad, but he's just getting outside no matter what. There we go. The cover three. It should be interesting. Should be pretty much the same result. Like I said that Y route. I like said he's he's beating outside. He got a little beat. He got a little bumped up a little bit out there though. Regardless of the coverage. So here we go. Cover three. Like I said, I'm motion this guy out. Try to get that Y route going. Although it might not be a cover three. It might be a man. So here we go. We're gonna go the other way. With a really easy touchdown, because like I said, that's going to beat man up the field as well. So I'm going to motion that guy out again. Like I said, it looks like we got that B route over there. I think that was a cover too. So you don't even have to motion him over. I'm going to go ahead and check the replay on that. I said, yeah, that's definitely, definitely a cover too. That's why I sat on it. So, like I said, you don't really have to worry about who you motion. Pretty much doesn't change the results. So, like I said, right side, right here, it gets behind it again. This play is a total glitch. So, go ahead and do that again. That's pretty obvious if it's cover two, where we're going. There, that was a cover three, and it just, it just got passed. I mean, it's just, if it's man coverage, you really want to motion this side out. Because the Y route's going to beat the man coverage better best say like you see right there I mean he's beating that man coverage he didn't catch it <laughs> he didn't catch it for some reason but if it's man that's who you want if it's covered too you want to motion out the B route and I don't think it ultimately matters to be honest with you like I say he's gonna get past that guys aren't catching the damn ball for some reason but they're getting past all speed no hands so, so like I said here we go once again cover two I say he's gonna beat that outside Caught it that time. Nice acrobatic catch. You can go up the sideline with that too against cover two. And even the A route inside has a shot. Next up we have the Saints spot. All I want to all I want to do is put B on a streak, put X on a flat. And um, I don't know what happened in here. And that's pretty much it. Just split the field in half pre-snap. You don't want to be trying to read both halves of the field. Um, if it's a man coverage, obviously this uh, the receiver is going to be better to get opening in the tight end, so that'd be the side that I would go to. 
Uh, but if it's a cover two or a cover three, it's the same concept on both sides. Well, that looked like it was a, I'm not sure if that was a man as well, but McCaffrey got outside of it. But like I said, if it's a cover three or cover two, you just have the same high-low route concept. Uh, where you're going to take low. If it's a uh, cover three and if you're gonna, it's going to be high, it's going to be a cover two. Next up, we got the Y out. All we're going to do is streak the A route, block and running back. That's it. we got a check down with the drag coming across. And then obviously the cover three play is right here coming open over the middle. By putting Hogan on one of these. That'll give you options. But ultimately, if I'm calling this play, it's to hit a home run. And I didn't wait long enough. You gotta wait till it gets a little bit further across that safety. The check and release is the check down as well, but I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with that. So like I said, buying time is probably the uh, only real challenge to a play like this. Except we got the dagger. Just put the A on a uh, streak, put the Y on a on a drag, and that's pretty much your play right there. Just wait for this B route to get open outside. You know, he'll, he can get some big catch and runs. I don't know, that was a bad throw though. Here we got a double safety blitz. I don't really think this play has too much of a great man beater option. I would say if anything, put the um, put the uh, the X route on a comeback route so you have that option. So now he's now he's a good check down. Just put him on that comeback route. He's, a, he's gonna, like I said, if it's a man, you know, he'll come back to that. That was actually bad timing by me, but it still worked out. Because ultimately, these crossing routes don't really beat man too well anymore. So here we go, we got that, you know, just hit that comeback route. That wasn't, because of how close I am to the sideline, it's not even a really good comeback route. It's more like a, like a hangman route, which is not, not that effective. <laughs> so... But ultimately, like I said, against zones, this is the play I'm going for anyway. Uh, which can be a good catch and run type of play. Next up, we got the level sail. This play doesn't work as good as it did last year, but it's still pretty much a read to the running back. It's running back tight end. Um, as you can see, I'm getting a big play, but it's definitely... Ooh, I think it's fumbled. And it's definitely a really good play, though, down the field. Um, you got a, a series of check downs on the other side and like I said you're pretty much just going tight end running back did I get back to back fumbles what kind of bull crap is that but uh, that's pretty much the play and like I said obviously all these check downs on the right side one of these one of these guys will be open <laughs> one of these guys will be open pretty much every time on the other side you don't really have a man beater that's too great so you could always put one in a comeback route um, the furthest one out on a comeback route so you have a, a reliable man beater other than just your tight end your tight end would probably be your best man beater at this point Next up, we got the PA shot cross. Just going to streak A, put Y on a drag, put X on an in route, and then smart route him. Pass block the running back. I forgot to do that, but that's pretty much all you got to do to make this a really big play. It's pretty much any zone play, any zone coverage should have a problem with that crossing route. Your opponent will most likely follow the inside cross. At that point, you'll have the high low with Y and the, uh, the X route coming across will really be the big play. Like I said, they'll leave the center of the field. That'll. That's why I have this guy coming in late. So at that point, you'll just be you'll just be killing them with paper cuts, which um, you know is just as effective as anything else. So like I said, oh that was a great throw. <laughs> Let's just throw that in the bleachers cam. Let's do this one more time. So you can tell that I run this play quite a bit. As you can see how quickly I can do it on sticks. Uh, so I can do this with a blindfold. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. Where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.